Are we live? I think we're live. All right. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Play Paint Live. Hope you guys are having a good Sunday evening. Yeah. Yep. And here we go. We got another another one of these guys. It's Sunday evening, and we're gonna do a little bit of painting, and we're gonna do. The chatty chats and the talky talks and all of the other things that happen on a typical stream like this. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup. So we do have some painting to do tonight and I want to experiment. Okay, so that's, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to experiment because I keep jumping around. I have five individuals to paint and when you have five individuals to paint um you're not really sure sometimes you just kind of lose focus and so maybe if i if i buckle down and i focus maybe i can actually finish something tonight but let's not let's not let's not get ahead of ourselves guys let's not get too too excited about that but let me show you what we got going on right so we got uh soldiers of fortune for rsta slash infinity however you feel about it uh well this is the metal kit for infinity but um i believe nelson's going to be using these primarily for aristea all right so just starting to do some color blocking on them uh nothing too serious just yet so this is uh this is hannibal here with the uh tactical trash cans you can see him on his tactical trash cans. Okay, so we got Hannibal. We got uh, Senor Massacre. Senor Massacre. Uh, just really the red in, not much else going on with him. But you do see some color on his tactical trash cans. We got um, Loxme. Uh, pretty much just in a blue suit for now. But we'll, we'll add some detail to this as we as we get going so that's locks me again just doing color blocking uh, and then we got uh, finally one model without a tactical trash can on it uh, we've got Valkyrie here who's a, which is a fantastic sculpt I still like the one with the axe better but this is a great sculpt you can see the cool shield there and uh, most importantly no no tactical trash can all right so things are just sort of drying right now and then as a fifth miniature staying with the metal aristea theme uh we have a metal prism okay so this one is going to be interesting because you could see i've uh, i've added a kind of a clear ish it's like a it, it's it's almost like a clear ish um candy it's like a candy wash, as you can see on her. And I'm just making sure we're, we're sort of getting to dry there. Uh, and when I do want to kind of, um, I do kind of want to accent this a little bit more. Uh, this one is going to be very fun to paint, but I don't, I, re I don't really know where Nelson wants to go with this. So I've really just sort of, for now, I'm just painting it exactly kind of like the example art is on the box or on the on the clamshell anyway. And then, uh, you know, I'm sure I'll get some feedback from him at some point. So, yeah, that's what we're working on tonight. Um, and I had I, ha I actually before this project started, I had started on. Uh, sound wave here and you can see he's got so much metallic on him right now he's just blinging off the screen you can't really it, it's it's too much it's too much I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to like calm this down somehow hey what's up you vote candy stripes that's uh, yeah that could that could be that could be extremely hard <laughs> um, but yeah, I want to do. I'm wondering if a if a black, uh, like if a black liner is too much. I don't know, honestly. Or if I should just do like a red. I think a black liner would be nice if I could actually 
pull it off. Um, I want to give this a little bit more time to dry. So while that's while that's still drying up, we're going to continue on the color blocking stuff here. So this isn't going to be this part here isn't going to be too exciting, but um, yeah, that's what we're working on tonight. We're going to paint for a little bit. You guys can tell me when you're bored, when you can't take enough, and we'll uh, we'll just move on. Okay, so let's uh, let's really kind of get some let's get some work done on. Um, on Valkyrie here, and I need some Basilicanum Gray. If you're just joining us, welcome to Play It Painted Live. Let us know what you're painting or what you should be painting. Again, we're working on Aristea Soldiers of Fortune and just sort of the extra prism on her own. So I'm going to just give this a little bit of Griff Charger Gray here on her wings. Right, because Valkyrie has these cool like, wings that she wears on the side of her head because she is Valkyrie. Because why wouldn't you do that, right? So we got that. And let's do... Let's get some... At least some of this gun metal down, like this Basilicanum gray here. Um, I'm not sure what color to make her 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 sunglasses or her visor, whatever you want to call that. All right. So I want to show you something here too, because what I'm attempting to do. So you can see how that Basilicanum gray kind of shades and washes at the same time. All right. So it's it's providing shadow, I, I'm sorry, shades and tones at the same time. So it's providing shadow in the crevices of this gun, but it's also providing that sort of a, a nice, like, dark gray tone to the rest of this here. Okay? And that can, that's why Basilicanum Gray can be very useful, because you can do, you know, you can do stuff like that and, um, and you know you can you can if you understand that that's how that works you can use that to your advantage okay um, and I'm gonna use this here right so we're gonna use it on the gun belts knowing that things aren't perfectly blocked out yet but we're gonna use it on the gun belts Oh, I've, I've missed the spot back there. But this is like Basilicanum Gray. It's kind of like a catch-all for me back in the day, right? Because you could do stuff like this. You could, if you, you could paint the parts of the model that you know are going to be, you know, sort of that, the that uh, dark gray or that that steel area, and then just hit it. You know, just leave it alone and then hit it with Basilicanum Gray at the end of the process, and then you're good to go. Um, but sometimes you don't want to have. Uh, sometimes you know it. The the downside to the to Basilicanum Gray is it can dull down the entire model, and sometimes you just don't want to do that, right? Let's continue. So we're going to just get her, we're going to get her totally ready for the next part of this process. So, uh, so I do need to come to some conclusion here on what I'm going to do with the, uh, <clears throat> with the visor. I think I'm going to go, I think, honestly, I think I'm going to go with like a green on the visor. Okay, let's do a little blue back there. On the back of the collar, uh, this area here should probably be blue also, so I'm going to hit that with a blue. Okay. All right. Just that section there. Uh, yeah, and then let's uh, let's let's get like a let's get like Archelian green on the sunglass area here. get her totally ready for this part. Alright, so Archelian Green, which actually is starting to look 
a lot like that blue that we just put down. Okay. All right. Hey, what's up, Nelson? Well, hello there. All right. So let's, uh, so she's, she's pretty well blocked off. Uh, God locks me. Let's go. Let's go massacre. Let's go massacre, Mr. Deadpool. Mr. Deadpool. All right. So, uh, you, so like I was saying, you could do Basilicanum Gray over this entire model if you want. And it's going to tone the whole thing to that gray color, which is not bad because we're talking Deadpool here, right? He's, he's really red and black. So it's not bad. But I am going to sort of avoid the, the red bits for now, even though, right, I, I could very well just go over the red bits and it's going to act as, uh, you know, kind of like a pseudo liner over those red bits. All right. Vegas looked fun, Nelson. Hope you still have uh, some money left in your pocket from your awesome decadent trip. I don't know if it was debaucherous as well. Uh, I'm going to root for debaucherous. I'm a big fan of debauchery when I can't, you know, I can't, I can't be debaucherous. So <clears throat> I'm going to live vicariously through you and your debauchery. Right, debauchery should be praised wherever possible, in my opinion. And so you can see what I'm doing here. This actually just gives, right, that, that gives Deadpool here a lot of believability re with regards to all of the, the extra detail he's got on him. Right, because it's causing everything to be a little bit darker. All right. Oh, I should put a little. I'm gonna put a little red there. I want Deadpool to look a little more Deadpool. We'll say. So I'm gonna put. A, I'm gonna put a little bit of red there in the center of his uh, his little backpack thing, his little sword backpack thing. Okay. All right. It's got kind of like a Ray Park uh, vibe to him, right? For those of you who know who Ray Park is. Okay. All right, not bad. Okay. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. The guy who's got the least amount of work on him right now is me. He's Mr. Hannibal. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing. Actually, before we... Yeah, let's do the same thing. I don't know. Let me just... Right, because he's got... He's got a little cigar. He's got a little... Little beard action here. He's got a very cool um, set of shades. I think are really, I think it's really cool. So quiet this evening. Okay. Don't make me open up the uh, the voice chat, guys. We're gonna. Voice chat is always a dicey proposition. You never know what we're going to get if we go to the voice chat. All right. And we'll just get this right here. A little combi rifle that they're all rocking in this particular set. They're all rocking combi rifle. Okay. Okay. Combi rifle there. It's got a gun here, which I quite like. And then 
he's kind of got this whole thing here, which is um, <clears throat> it's on the the standard art is like an orange and like a and like a kind of a desert earth color. So I could go Agaros Dunes and orange, which is probably probably a good idea. So let's go ahead and do that. Just looking for some agaros dunes. And yeah, I know this is this is the not not all that interesting part of the painting, guys, but Jose still suffering from Jason's beatdown. <laughs> Using this team, by the way. I don't know if that dissuades you. Nelson from running this team. Still a very, very strong team, in my opinion. But yeah, uh, Jason's, uh, Jason's uh, Musashi Wild Bill combo is uh, tearing it up right now in our in our miniature uh, Aristea circle. It's just a good combo. You know, we talk about that. All the time on the feed here. All right, well, let's get let's get a Hannibal ready to roll here. Okay. So you see, I'm leaving the the backpack there. Still sort of empty. We're going to get a good even base coat down right here. Okay. I know when I say good even base coat, that can be very difficult to do with contrast paints. Because that's just kind of how contrast paints roll. He tabled and outpointed me in two turns. That that is true. I watched some of that game. That was that was extremely brutal, is what I'll say. All right, looks pretty good. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Uh, I don't like how, see how that's kind of blotchy right there. I don't really like that that's super blotchy. So I'll just kind of even that out a little bit. And then let's do a little bit of orange. Promise you we're going somewhere with this, guys. I mean, we're, we're working towards painted miniatures, ultimately. I get that, but we're... We are gonna do we are gonna do some fancy stuff here in a minute. Okay, so a little bit of orange on the cowl, right? Because that's how animals rock in kind of an orange. He's got kind of an orange and green feel to him. So this is just gonna be. I mean, it's it's based on the box art, but it's not. I'm not going to be like strictly adherent to it. And again, Nelson, you want something a certain color. Now is the time to speak up, sir. So just let me know. We'll make that happen for you. Okay, a little bit of orange back here just to kind of... Actually, why don't I just... I'll just do the... I'll just do this pack in orange. And I know Nelson was telling me the other day he does not like the color orange. Or he's just not a big fan of it. Um, it's kind of a bummer because I really like orange. <laughs> but anyway. Here we go here. Okay. And then paint the front side of that. And yeah, we're getting we're getting very close to having 
most of these miniatures, kind of uh, getting them mostly color blocked and ready to roll. Uh, his trash can should be kind of, let's do like a, let's do like a, a bluish trash can and then let's do, let's do a little sneak white leather here. Okay. And then we're going to play. Once we get these, once we get them, them blocked off, then we're going to. We're going to play around with these miniatures, okay? That should make you feel very at ease, uh, Nelson, that decided we're going to we're going to play around with these miniatures and see learn new things. We're going to use them as an opportunity to learn new things. Okay. And yeah, and I want kind of a reddish or a purplish trash can. Or even, I could even just do a darker, let's just do a darker green trash can. Okay. Let's do a darker green trash can. There we go. Tactical trash can. The most technologically advanced trash cans ever. And then... And then for these, like, mine things, we'll do uh, Basilicanum Gray. Why not? All right. <clears throat> Basilicanum Gray. Now, for a lot of people that are just doing, like, base coats and that kind of thing, you could very much watch, like, a lot of you guys can be like, oh, yeah, we're, we're done. That looked pretty cool. Right? We could just kind of finish up here and say, yeah, you know, it looks pretty good. It passes a three-foot standard. But we are going to, we are going to play, my friends. We are going to learn things. Okay, so there's that. And let's do a little locksmi here. And with her cool, you know, I don't know, maybe this is a futuristic uh, MP5 or something that she's got. It's a very cool looking weapon there. Let's give her some hacker headgear. All right, let's do this. Okay. So quiet. So other than, uh, you know, Jose having a rough day on the Aristea Arena, what's everybody else been up to? How are we doing, folks? And, yeah, Nelson enjoying decadent Las Vegas and hopefully some some debauchery in there as well let's get some Sigor Brown down uh, no no yeah, let's get some Sigor Brown down Just so we can, you know, we can make some sense out of all the belt work and everything. Her hacking gear can be like this dark brown, Sigor brown. I love the single sling pack. I actually really like those kinds of bags. I have one. I want to have multiple now. Because I'm a big fan of that. Alright, so we'll just do the straps on the gun. 
Whoa. And then we have to, uh, then we got to figure out, like, her sleeves should be a different color as well. I don't know. I don't know if I have to figure that out right now. Maybe not. Let's just kind of let's just kind of roll with it. A red here. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, or threats so far, I know we haven't done anything different yet tonight, but we will. And uh, Nelson, let me know. I mean, I've been painting her red ice, uh, but if you like something different, please speak up. Let me know. Because I'm about to do a little experiment with her. Okay? All right. Because I think we, I think she's dry with the current phase that she's done. I think it's dry. I know it looks a little shiny, but that's like that's the, that's this, uh, that's this man, that's this guy. All right. So the color is kind of cool this red ice um, but I want to continue to exaggerate the color working up and down yeah Nelson's probably working off a hangover yeah he probably is so we're gonna we're gonna experiment a little bit we're gonna play around with a black wash okay so we're gonna do a black and specifically we're gonna do a black oil wash all right so so here's what we're gonna do I need to really clean this palette, but it's okay. We're using oils. It's fine. Um, so I've been using this uh, odorless thinner. So we're going to make ourselves a couple of, a couple of pools of this odorless thinner, at least two. Because I need clean pools, I need dirty pools, and I need dead pools. Get it? And everything in between. It's a little bit thinner there. It looks like I spilled some. That's okay. All right. So a little bit of thinner there. And then I'm going to get my <clears throat> handy dandy um, mixing brush. And we are going to reach into our bag of tricks here. Oh, I have to decide. I mean, black might be... Black might be too strong, but I I think I feel like I have to. I mean, I either go black or uh, or I could go with this, or I could go like a, a warm red. I even have a, oh, that's brown. I thought I have a, I have a deep red here too, like a look at. I just don't think the deep red is going to call anything out. I think the black is really what I need to do here. I don't want to do brown because uh, brown, I think, is going to make it look dirty. Black, I think, is what, we, is what we're going to do. All right? So let's just hope for the best. And if it doesn't work out, uh, we can always, uh, can always just reprime the model and start over. All right, so a little bit of black paint there. We're going to make a splodge of it. And then we're going to yeah, switch my paper towels, right? Because I have an oil-based towel and I have a water-based towel. So now I'm going to start to make this, um, this uh, oil wash, okay? So it's very simple. I'm just going to take a little bit of this black, right? And... Really, just dump some of the black into the thinner there, and really make it really, really thin. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
Okay. Okay. And we're going to test it out. So with this being super duper thin, I'm going to put a little bit more thinner in it. In fact, we're going to make it even thinner. Okay. Okay, so with it with it really really micro thin like that, this should actually be able to draw into parts of the model and act it, it's going to use, you know, like capillary action. And that is it's going to draw into all the tiny teeny tiny little bits of the model. Um, and I have to find I have to find a model a brush with a very good a, a synthetic brush specifically with a good tip. Do I have one? Is the question. Pretty sure I should should have one. Right. I mean, that looks okay. Again, no water. No water here. Right. I'm going to use a little bit of thinner there just to draw it into the finest possible point I can draw it into. And I'm going to scoot this over to give myself a little room to work here on camera. Okay. So I've been experimenting with oil washes, and they can do really cool things, um, but you, you still have to be, with oil washes, you, you do have to be quite specific, and you'll see what I'm about to do. All right, so, so a little bit on my tip there, and I'm just going to boop, drop a little there. And just as a test, right, I'm still... Still looks a little thick. So I'm going to use it to line this. But yeah, it's still a little bit on the thick side. Okay. Alright. So now we're going to Apply this oil wash. Actually, uh, I think I actually need a little bit more thinner. To my mix here. That's good. A bit more. All right. And we're gonna see we're gonna see what we can do here with oh I need that other brush back. So we're gonna mix that all up again. All right, get it super thin. Oh that's bad. Okay. Alright. So now should be able to just touch the point and then similar to a liner actually I can't even I can't really even deliver that sig a significant volume here so let's I don't want it to be too thick. But you can see there, right, I can I can really get a lot of dark areas here with this using it as a
using it as a wash. So you, can, you get, I'll, I'll show you here on this this area here with the with the the abs, right? See, it should just wing. It's a little still. Oh, there it goes. So it's just I'm just gonna let it run into those areas, right, and give. Give us some good definition there. Okay. I may have made the original wash a little too thin, but we're doing okay. And then down here, all right. So all I'm trying to do is just really exaggerate the low points of the crystals so that when I come in and highlight everything, it's going to be even more exaggerated, right? You'll be able to see like all the teeny tiny little details. And you do this with an oil because, it, one, you can get it a lot thinner than a water-based wash, but two, it's actually easier to clean up. All right? It's easier, if I really screw up, it's actually easier to correct for mistakes here. Right? So, so you can see what I'm doing there. All right, really just really just drawing, getting all the major geometry of this model. And I want to do that without uh, altering the color significantly. I just want to get in here. Get in there so that you can really, you know, you should really be able to see all of that level detail once I um, come back in and highlight. Okay. So even this, the small of her back. Ooh. And all the little little designs here, right? So this shading is actually a lot more pronounced than the cover art, but I think I'm going to like it a lot better. Because you really are going to be able to see like all the different parts of this crystal. Okay. Like I said, it's oil, so we'll be able to uh, finely manipulate this how we want it, you know, depending on how, how we want this to look. So I'm actually going to, let's play it up a little bit more, right? Play that. Let's use a wash and let's actually play it up a little bit more. Okay, especially there on the bottom and here where you'd expect a lot of those shadows to be. Play that a little bit more. Here.
you got to really kind of practice to get the consistency right on this. But I think I can already tell, like, once I get really good with understanding the consistency of what this wash needs to be, that I should be able to. And you see how I just applied it over that whole area. Should be able to manipulate this the way I want. All right. So I'm going to take that same brush. And we're going to we're going to highlight these edges by just taking a little bit of the thinner, right? And taking off taking off those areas there. Okay. I really do enjoy this model. This is a great miniature. Okay. So I'm just gonna play that thin there. And then let's let's put it in her hair. Right. Let's let it let that oil sit nicely in there. Okay. Right? So now I have all that. You can see all that shadow. There is a strong amount of definition in there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give that some time to dry, and now we're going to work on we're going to work on Valkyrie here. Okay, same thing. Take some oil, add that to our wash. Okay. And then just kind of put it down on the model let and let let it go into all the little crevices and parts that we want. And it should not. There we go. It does not need to like darken the model the way a a you know a latex wash would because we can clean it up it's, a, it's kind of the main advantage here right so see i can i can just use it there on the knee pad and i can just clean up the knee pad when it's done use it here on the shin guard should we call this shin guards or greaves Okay. Same thing there. And then here. I mean, I guess I could have done. I guess I could have done. Uh, A more generic shade it there wasn't it wasn't too critical that you know all these parts ended up had to end up being so bright but again we're just we're we're messing around we're learning how to use this tool okay and frankly it's it's kind of cool this, I'm I have high hopes for this I think it's gonna work pretty well Okay. All right. All right. Now I want to. Uh... Oh, hey, what's up? Traveling back from traveling to Idaho for Guild Ball. Wow. 
You went to Idaho to play some Guild Ball. That's awesome, dude. What's up, David? Finish crushing Goblin Slayer. I will crush the dishes. Good job. Good job, sir. Okay. Let's um let's make a different uh, wash for this gold. So I have kind of an umber color here that I want to play around with. So let's see what we got. Right. And again, you know, you could I could do could just you know, use a different type of product to do this, but we are experimenting. So I've got this brown wash color here, right? And I'm going to put a, I'm going to give myself a little schmug of that. It's a scientific term, a schmug. And we're going to add that to some thinner and make ourselves a a brown schmug color oil wash by adding it there a little bit more of it all right so some of these we will mess around with the oil wash but not all of them I feel like it needs a little bit of red if this is going to be a like a gold uh, wash uh, so I could put a little bit of red in there what do you think maybe let's do it let's do it we're, we're learning uh, we're gonna do some of this warm red and I'm gonna make it look so a little schmug of that a little schmug of the uh, the red <clears throat> I got spare Kami and alt spade you need them for those extra life teams uh, it would probably help the Kami is is very highly in demand so that would probably help move that uh, that alchemist team problem is I I guess I would have to just add it in as a side and not paint it because I don't have time to paint it uh, before the extra life event. But I guess I could, you know, depending on who bought it, I could try to make some arrangements to to paint it. We'll see. Okay, so so we've got this. So I've got the uh, now I've got like a brownish oil wash here that I want to use. So let's let's do what we do, right? Get a bit on the brush here. I'm not actually it's not strong enough yeah that's not strong enough I mean it doesn't look terrible but it doesn't uh, I think I need, I need a little bit more brown wash in the brown wash brown wash okay Let's put a little more brown in there. <clears throat> and so in here. There we go. Now we're starting to get a little bit of... Starting to get a little bit more goodness out of this wash. There we go. And then let's add... It's just maybe the piece is too small. Can't really get the effect I want from it. Yeah, piece could be a little too small. Which is okay. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. All right. Okay. Oh, you're traveling down on the 7th. That's awesome, dude. Sweet. Okay. Um, yeah, these we're gonna. You can't really use oil wash for uh, 
for like batch painting, but I'm gonna clean this off a little bit. All right. And then we're gonna I mean I like that she's a lot better defined now. So that part's good. But uh, we still I think I, I am gonna switch back to water base. Uh, so we can continue to work on these. I mean that was cool. It was a cool it was a cool way of getting some of that detailing in there, but I don't know, man. I do not know if that's gonna if that was worth it compared to what I already know how to do using water-based paints. Sometimes it'd be like that, right? All right, let's do it. Now let's let's switch back to water base and let's get some work done. All right, so I'm going to need some sort of scarlet or bright red color. This is this is my best bet right here. Yeah, we're just like that. We're back to water base. I don't know. Maybe it's just that it, it, it could just be the way I like to paint. Maybe. Where, you know, water base gives you, you just you know, put the color where you want it and it stays right there. And as long as you understand exactly how much dry, or like working time you have, you should be okay. All right. So now we are going to start to highlight her back up to where she was. Give myself a little more room here. All right. All right, so starting here. Just gonna highlight that edge. But it's good to, you know, it's good to constantly kind of experiment, figure out, you know, what are some other things that you don't know yet? Especially with stuff like oil painting. That's, I could be oil painting this whole model and it would probably look pretty cool. But you could also, with all the hard edges and everything, you could also still do a reasonably good job with good old water-based paint. There you go. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just don't know where, where I'm at here with this. It still doesn't look terrible. Maybe I do need to switch to oil just so I can really control the transitions. I don't know. Water is giving me a little bit 
better precision on in some to some degrees, but I gotta just admit, like I do not like the red ice look. I mean, it's an easy enough geometry to follow, but it's kind of kind of boring. Let's keep playing with it. That's all you got to do. Yeah, it's just so, I don't know. It's just too much, in my opinion. It's it's cool, but it's just too much. Bought some cheap oil paints to play with making washes for the tanks. I'll probably try them out on a Mini 2. Eh. Yeah, I mean, this is a good Mini to test out oils on just because there's such good geometry with it. And should like I could just continue to blend I could just take the oils and blend them you know up and down this red tree the the this red spectrum here but I don't know if I even need to right I mean I'm already getting pretty good I've got a pretty good transition here with this scarlet color so it's not too bad, right? Now let's let's start building some precision into this. So we are gonna. Um, I'm gonna start. I guess I. I'm wondering if I throw yellow into it to go more orange, or if I go white into it to make it more go more pink. Now the actual uh, the box art has it going pink. So I guess, you know, in spirit in that spirit we'll we'll just keep going. We'll go towards pink, I guess. But I'm just so used to going, you know, towards a warmer uh towards the warmer um orange that I don't know how this is. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. We'll see. Let's just do what we let's do what we gotta do and see if we like it. Okay. So you gotta be really careful with this, right? So now we're we're on pink. And this could be disastrous if I don't do this right. If I if I overdo this, this could look really weird. Right? And this pink is it's the weird thing about this pink is it's gonna be I'm almost treating it like it's going to be the shadow of an actual, like, edge highlight. So it's, a, I, I guess it's more of, it's it's definitely an intermediate highlight. But see, like, that's too much right there, right? So we just quickly deal with that. Boob, say what's up, newbie. But yeah, we're going like this. All right. Oof. Okay. So we're going to do everything we can to not overdo this. This pink is going to be a very, I, I, we're, go, we're going for red ice, not pink ice, okay? So you got to be very careful about how this gets implemented. 
here. I thought you'd pop and say hi. What's going on, newbie? Did you do anything interesting today? Do you have any new enlightenment to share with the rest of us here? There we go. See, that's kind of nice. That little... It's just this little line here. Right. I'm just going to use this to... He's going to draw some lines like that. Okay. And around this area. I'm telling you, I don't I just don't know how I feel about crimson ice. Right? I just don't know how I feel. Did you like it? <laughs> All right. So, I, like I said, when I had this myself, when I painted my own, I painted it twice because I did not like the original. I was going for more of a, like a fire style crystal. And I didn't even like that, even though it was like my own colors getting me there. I didn't care for it. So we'll see what happens here. This is kind of a nice transition on the bottom there. Pop the kettle, make a cuppa, pop in, say hi. Okay. I will we will we will let you we will let you into the voice if you like. I'm just gonna You know, you could say hello to the uh the West Coast audience that I've got here. And share some some Britishisms with them. Alright. Okay. And if I'm subtle enough with this, I can, I should be able to. There you go. You're less coherent. <laughs> All right. Newbie's still trying to get his bearings. Okay. All right. Now it's time for the time for the edge highlight here, which is gonna <laughs> that's screaming going on in the chat about old your fellow American. <laughs> yeah, your uh, your your accent. Is very American, sir. <laughs> I know that just pissed you off. I am painting. I'm painting crystal boobies. If it, you know, if it so pleases the court, that is, that is what I am doing. All right. Right, so this is really the, this is it. This is the edge of edge highlights right now. Right? This is how we, oh, I got a three-year-old, I'm sorry, I have a four-year-old in here now. 
Go to bed, buddy. It's, it's night time. What are you doing? Why are you awake? Why are you awake, buddy? Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm busy, dude. Hmm. I'm painting. Oh. Okay. So I gotta do this. I gotta do that nice and precise there. Yes, good. <laughs> I'll do that nice and precise there. Okay. We'll see how long this lasts. Well, he got bored of me already. Maybe he's going to bed. It's nighttime like it is for you. Nice. Alright. So. So I gotta be careful about overdoing this highlight. Exciting here with all the big boy, doing big boy fun things. Certainly is. Okay. So we're going to continue this edge highlight on this side. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. All right. Still, still want to have, there we go. No, nope. he's decided to sing. <laughs> Son, time to go to bed. Go to bed. Yeah. All right. Let's do that. Looking pretty good there. And then we're going to. You know, we'll paint it this way, and we'll see if Nelson is okay with this or if he wants to take it a different direction. I just think this is such an interesting model that, it, to me anyways, it doesn't have to be all one color, right? It doesn't have to be. My my Sunday was very fun. I got to play... Uh, a little Aristea played a played a board game with my with my seven year old first before I did that. So I played a game called SOS Dino, which is a super fun little kids game. And then uh, yeah, and then got to hit the bar and play some Aristea and got to field this character Prism, who is uh, definitely one of my favorite characters in the game uh, and I've been running her a lot with dart Jose will tell you all about that I just run prism and dart basically so many games now all right so you can see where that precision is going been working since Friday uh, <laughs> pretty tired when I get the you like the tale of how newbie was banned from Andy 2D6's show? Oh, we're gonna have to, yeah, we're gonna have to do that at some point. We'll give newbie his, uh, we'll give newbie the floor, and he can he can walk us through that. Okay. Things are not looking good for this stream, guys. I got a four-year-old who is running around right now refusing to go to sleep how come your workers are back
So we're going to continue. So you can see what I'm... Can I help with the final? Yeah, son, I'll help you, but you have to go to bed, okay? okay. Yeah, what'd you lose? What'd you lose, son? What are you missing? They're, they're gone. What's gone? Uh, what you, can you help? Yeah, I'll help. Just give me a minute, okay? <laughs> Your daughter <laughs> fell asleep fast. Well, you can see <laughs> I'm about to... I, am, I don't think we're long for this stream, guys. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You can see where I'm going here with this. And he's completely... <laughs> Dave... All right, let me at least get this part in, and then, just so you guys can see where I'm going with these, All right, we'll see how we go with this pink ice over the next, uh, sorry, crimson ice over the next couple of days here, or if, uh, if Nelson gets a hold of me and says he does not want to, he does not like this particular woo, this particular color scheme um it's it's just to me it's okay i would have gone a different color crystal personally but the black i think does help the the black um uh ink wash that i put down i think will help this but yeah this is going to be a lot of a lot of tedious level uh, getting all these highlights in and correct. Which isn't the end of the world, but. Ooh. Ooh. Right? It's actually kind of cool. Yeah, we definitely are going to need that story, uh, newbie, but unfortunately, I will not be able to host such a tale. You found the, that's a pachycephalosaurus, son. Pa pachycephalosaurus, that's right. Okay. But you can kind of see where I'm going with this, right? Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. Okay. All right. <laughs> you like where this is going? You have a bunch of abyss. All right. Okay. Well, well, guys, it looks like I am going to have to put a little guy to sleep. I'm going to have to put him to bed. Because he... He has, he has broken out of his bed, and he is very excited about... He found the I, I, I heard, buddy. We found the Velociraptor. Good job. Good job. <laughs> All right, son, we got to get up very early tomorrow. I got to... We got to go to school tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, you could kind of see where all the highlighting is going to go. and um, We'll see. I, it should be pretty... I think it'll look cool. I, right now, I'm just not 100% sold on the Crimson Ice look. But 
you know, it's okay. To each their own, right? I think all that really matters is Nelson likes this look. Nelson likes the look, then we're good to go, and that's the way this model's going to look. And if he doesn't like it, we'll change directions. Okay. But yeah. Good job, guys. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah. I'm just trying to get as much... I know I'm going to have to come in and do another sharp uh, highlight on the white anyway but figure we got as we're closing the stream here I want you guys to be able to see as much of this as possible as we are right as we shut this down well, yeah it's kind of I mean, it's starting to grow on me. The look is starting to grow on me. I think I will need, like, a really, really bright white to make these edges kind of kind of grow. And I think the only way to do that is to do several layers. Well, yeah, we could talk about your podcast idea, Dave. Because I think that would be cool. Hobbyists with a podcast? Never been done. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Yeah. Looking pretty cool. I mean... You can see where we're going there. I, I like it quite a bit, but we'll we'll work on that a little bit more uh, in the future. But for right now, I got a four-year-old. It's got to go to bed. Ah, oh, Sean just popped on. All right, guys. So, yeah, we're going to do this. Um, and that's going to do it for this video, guys. I want to thank everyone for watching. Have a good night, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.